In this section, we will be having BODS overview. And before going forward, please remember SAP Data Services is same as BODS, that is Business Object Data Services. So don't get confused in future lectures, both are the same thing. There are various components of SAP Data Services like DS Designer, Repositories, Job Server, Engine, and Access Server. So we'll see how it looks. And before starting this, please remember that if you don't understand any part of it, don't worry about it because once you go through the hands-on, you will completely understand this. If you don't understand anything, any part of it, don't worry, go through the rest of the course and come back to this video and you will understand everything. So let's go one by one, BODS Designer. Now this is a tool which you will be using the most. This is the basic bread and butter of any designer. The developer will be creating all the jobs, all the objects and will be executing the jobs as well. So this is main feature of BODS, which is BODS designer, which a developer will be using. Management console, it is a browser based web tool. So we'll be having a separate walkthrough for designer and separate walkthrough for management console. So don't worry about it. So management console is web based and here you can monitor the jobs. You can uh, manage the users. These kind of things can be done here in management console. So basically it can be used by you to observe the jobs and there are a lot of things you, which you will see in the walkthrough of this and admin can also use this for various activities of admin. Local repository. So we have two types of repository, local repository and central repository. Local repository is must for running a BODS. Central repository is optional. So local repository is where, you know, everything gets stored. So all these objects also get stored here. All the metadata, everything which you will be running BODS on will be getting stored here. And central repository is used mostly by admin to maintain the versioning of the objects and those kind of things. Here access server, access server is basically a kind of a broker which works for real time client. So real time jobs uses access server to send message and to receive messages. Job server is very important part of BODS architecture and each repository is associated with at least one job server. So job server does all the hard work once you run the job and it extracts all the metadata and put engine in motion to extract all the data from source and loading into in target and those kind of things. Adapter is something which you know fetches the metadata from third party. So this is the basic overview of BODS architecture. And as I said, don't worry if you don't understand any part of it. By end of this course, you will be knowing everything about it. So we'll go further in next section. Thank you.